Hey guys, welcome to my new video. In this video, I'm gonna show how to make this animation with using After Effects. Let's get started. So guys, welcome back and first of all, let's create background animation. Let's select this laptop vector file, hide from now and create new solid layer. Add name background color and click OK. Go to FX Presses, search FX Fill, select Fill, let's use for background solid and change color blue. Click OK. So, in this time, let's lock layers and go to Pen Tool. Let's click Fill, select Now for Turn Inside Color, click OK and go to Stroke Width, change 20. Hold Shift, make one line like this. Inclusion tool, let's select shape layer 1, move to left lady bit, and for move to anchor point center, hold control, double click, pan behind icon. Inclusion tool, and change view 100%. Okay, so select shape layer 1, and change stroke color like this. Click OK. And right now, let's change stroke width. Okay, and change name line 1. So, in this time, let's open inside and contents, shape 1 and stroke 1. First of all, let's go to dashes and click this plus icon for open dashes. And change dashes like this. And line cap, change bed cap to round cap for smooth lines. And change dashes like this. Okay, so in this time, let's again click plus for add new dashes and change gap. Again, click plus and change dashes to for random lines. Okay, so in this time, select offset and let's add expression for loop and endless animation. Hold alt, click time icon and write time minus 500 and for down expression click this empty area let's see okay so let's play settings for beautiful lines change dashes like this okay and gap okay pretty good let's see nice so in this time let's close this area and select this line one Ctrl D for duplicate, select this anchor point, hold shift and move to down. Also, let's move to right for random line animation. And select line 1, Ctrl D again and move to down. Ok, again select this line 2, Ctrl D and move to down. And select line 3, Ctrl D and move to down. Okay, finally select this line 2, Ctrl D and move to down. Nice. So let's say animation. Okay, so let's make random animations. First one, select this line 6 and go to search. Let's search offset. And let's double click for edit and delete this minus and delete 500. Let's change 350 and click this empty area. Let's see. Okay. Nice. Let's select line 2 and go to search. Let's write offset and let's double click delete minus and right here 300 and click this empty area. Let's see. Nice. And select this line, line 4. Again, let's write here offset and let's double click for edit, delete minus. And this change 400. Nice. Right now we have random background animations. So let's select these lines and right mouse, pre compass, add name, background lines. Click OK. And let's use fill for background lines and go to select background color with eyedropper icon and open color cube, change color like this. 
click OK. And select this background lines, press R and chain rotation. OK, go to FS Processors, FX CC Repetile. Select CC Repetile, let's use for background lines. And chain expand up like this. Chain this 1000 and expand down. Change 1000. Let's see. Nice. Let's try chain rotation a little bit like this. Okay, and let's chain expand right 1000 and expand left 1000 for endless loop animation. Very nice. Let's close settings and enable laptop, unlock, moved up and lock background lines. Select laptop, let's press S, change scale. Okay, so in this time let's create new null object, change name camera tool. And this is my fake camera movement tool. Let's hold control, double click pen behind the icon for moved anchor point center, Clization tool. And let's unlock these background layers. Select background lines and laptop. Link to camera tool. Again, lock this background color. So, select laptop and let's press P. Move to down. And enable title action save. Make new parts in keyframe. Go to 10 keyframes. We have two ways for go to 10 keyframes. First way. Hold Shift, press page down in keyboard, or other way, let me show, click time duration, write plus 10. For go to 10 keyframes, click OK. And let's move the up laptop layer. And go to 10 keyframes again, move to down, again go to 10 keyframes, move to up again, move to down, and again, move to up, and let's one. Move to down for center. Select two frames, make easy or click F9. Let's see animation. Okay, so for fix this lag problem, select all two frames, right mouse, two frame interpolation, change auto bezier to linear. Click OK. Let's see again. Nice, very smooth. And select this laptop. Let's hold Shift, press S, go to first second. And let's click this icon, make scale keyframe, change scale like this, and go to next 10 keyframes, change 210. Okay, go to 10 keyframes, change 180, go to 10 keyframes, change 202, and select scale keyframes, make easy. Let's see. Let's select these last three keyframes, move to the left for replace second keyframe. And say keyframes, hold Alt, move to right. Okay, pretty good. So in this time, let's go to project and select this cursor. Let's open composition, select this cursor layer. Control X and back to main, Control V for paste. And let's use fill effect. Select fill, let's use for cursor and change color to black or white or let's try yellow click OK and change scale press S change scale move to down OK and let's move to right this layer and let's press P make new passing keyframe and go to 10 keyframes let's move to here Okay, and let's zoom to layers. Select two frames, make easy. And go to middle, select this layer and move to right. Change curves like this. And select work area, let's see. Okay, this is very fast and speed animation. Select these two frames, hold Alt, move to right. Okay, let's hold Alt move to the left. Okay, select two frames again, hold Alt move to the left. And let's hold Shape, press R, make rotation keyframe. 
go to here and chain rotation and next keyframe again change select rotation keyframes make easy okay select first keyframe chain rotation like this okay not bad and go to some keyframes let's make new person keyframe go to 10 keyframes and let's move to back again go to here and move to left fall cursor click animation okay we have problem with these keyframes select these two keyframes right mouse keyframe interpolation change current settings to linear click ok okay select these keyframes last three keyframes hold alt move to left Okay, and here let's make new rotation keyframe and go to here chain rotation like this and next keyframe chain rotation for click animation and go to some keyframes change rotation again okay nice let's say again very nice and go to some keyframes let's create new position and new rotation keyframes go to fifth keyframes and move to down and go to middle change rotation okay and go to here change rotation and next keyframe change rotation again and move to down so, for add smooth lines, select this keyframe and go to pen tool, hold this icon, select this convert vertex tool and let's make smooth line. Nice, very good. So, let's preview animation. Okay, that's good. So, in this time, let's go to here and let's add shape layer. Go to here and run the rectangle tool and make rectangle like this and go to stroke width, change stroke width and color inside fill. Select let let's use white color. Okay and move to center and open rectangle one, rectangle path one. Let's move to right this shape layer. And click size icon and create new size keyframe. Move to right and change size zero. Make keyframes easy. Go to graph editor, select this graph. Let's make smooth graph. Let's see. Okay, not bad. Let's move to left this first graph. Okay, let's change roughness for full smooth shape layer that's good back to keyframes and let's see timing let's close settings select this shape layer one first link to laptop layer and move to left move to left like this okay let's move to left more Nice, and select this cursor, let's move to up, and move to left. Okay, that's good. And let's select this shape layer, and move to down. Okay, and let's zoom to two frames. And right now select these two frames, move to the left for more fast animation. Okay, very nice. And these two frames move to the left. Very good. And right now select this shape layer one, change name button. 
press S and click scale keyframe and go to 10 keyframes, chain scale like this, go to 10 keyframes, the first keyframe, copy paste and make keyframes easy and hold alt, move to the left let's see nice, very good so, in this time go to text layer let's write here send and click tool, change font Gobot drive and change font size okay and color let's use blue or this blue and link to button okay very nice and right now let's close all settings select this cursor let's link to camera tool and select camera tool after cursor click animation let's press p make new passing keyframe and go to fave keyframes change like this select keyframes make easy go to graph editor and select first keyframe graph make smooth animation and this move to left very nice and back to project select this paper let's move to inside our conversation and press s change scale link to camera tool okay and move to up change scale more and move to right okay so let's move to down like this and select this paper let's press p move to down okay and make new passing keyframe go to five keyframes and move to up select keyframes make easy and select this paper, move to behind laptop layer. Select this paper, hold shift press S. Let's go to here, make scale keyframe, go to back and change scale zero. Make scale keyframes easy. Nice. And open paper conversation and change quality full. And select these text layers, select text 1, go to first second, press S, click this icon and change scale 0, make sketch keyframe, go 10 keyframe, change 100%. Select keyframes, make easy, go to graph editor and let's zoom to graph. If you not see a graph like this, go to click this icon and enable edit speed graph. Select keyframes, move to left. And this keyframe move to right. And select last keyframe, move to right for slow animation. Okay, so select scale keyframes, copy, and select text 2. Let's see timing. Control V. And text 3. Control V. And select these two text layers. Press U. And move to the left. And this move to the left. Very nice. Select this picture and press S, change, let's create new scale keyframe, move to right and change scale 0. Make keyframes easy and move to right. Let's first move to left, select these text layers, move to right. Very nice and back to main, let's see timing. Okay, that's good. So. Let's close all these layers and select layers, click motion blur and enable here and let's see final result. So guys, thank you for watching my video and don't forget to subscribe to the channel, like video and please follow me on Instagram. Good luck.